There are several ways to change the size and dimensions of your image in ACDC. I commonly get asked about the difference between cropping and resize canvas in ACDC Ultimate. I'll go over the differences, and if you want to see a more expansive video on this topic, check out the workshop linked in the description. When you open up an image in ACDC, the image will define the width and height by default. Typically, they correspond to settings on your camera at the moment of capture. This means that the width and height of your image are set beforehand. Cropping, as many viewers will be familiar with, is a method by which we focus in on a subject or remove unnecessary background detail. In edit mode, I can open the crop menu by navigating to the geometry filter. Geometry will be located on the left filter panel. By default, cropping will allow me to reduce the size of my image. Notice that I can turn on constrain cropping proportion to maintain the aspect ratio of my image, meaning that it will only reduce by the shape of the original image. With this turned off, I can warp my crop to any custom shape I see fit. Adjusting these values produces new width and heights by which the image would be cropped to. With relative positioning turned on, I can also see the distance between my new dimensions and the old or default dimensions. This allows me to crop to very precise metrics. Upon cropping, my image will be made smaller. Notice that I cannot expand my image or crop outside of the frame of the image. This is where resize canvas comes in handy, however. To resize canvas, click on its icon on the toolbar. The toolbar will open the same yellow bounding box indicators around our image as we saw in crop. Instead of merely cropping my image though, resize canvas can be used to expand it. By expanding my image, new images can be placed below or it can be made into an entirely new composition altogether. I'll commit these changes I've made and as an example, fill my image with the same background color present in my image already. So what I'll do is I'll click new layer and use the color picker to pick the color of the background from my original image. I will use the fill bucket and I can now fill this blank layer. Notice that I might need to clean up the edges um, like in this example. That can be done with either masks themselves or just by using the eraser tool on our original image edges here. Please like, comment and subscribe. And if you'd like, click the bell icon. That'll notify you when we upload new videos.